Hi, I'm David Charney from eLearning Locker. Today I wanted to talk briefly about the Next button. The Next button certainly has its time and place in course navigation. On the other hand, though, it can feel like the Next button can break your course up into too many kind of boring chunks of information. That it's more of a slide after slide after slide instead of a building and building and building of information. And of course, a lot of people think that the Next button lacks a little originality. You know, I use the Next button a lot. Uh, but I like to think of it as more of a segue from episode to episode of your favorite show rather than the commercials in between each show. The next button should drive the story. It shouldn't just be a, a more button. Instead of using the next button, we can, you know, for instance, first off, reduce the amount of information that's necessary to explain what we're doing on, on each slide. Or we'll try to put more information on each slide. If there's more information that's important to a single topic, we can kind of animate through that on, on a single slide instead of breaking it up across multiple slides. Or we can use little interactions or knowledge checks to make sure that the, the learner is comfortable and that can move us to the next slide. I've even used scrolling sites or parallax sites, which, you know, as you scroll through it, the, the story is kind of delivered to you. And of course, sometimes we just use animations. We just animate through it. Uh, sometimes we'll use something like After Effects, or we could even build that in Storyline or some other kind of animation package to kind of just move you through it in kind of a hands-off focused uh, approach. So I want to show off a little sample project that I put together. So this was built in Articulate Storyline. I still have slides, but instead of a next button, I've got these little interactions which help to build experience and habits. So each scene is very similar. There's a little bit of information and then a task to move forward. In this screen, in this environment, we're asking the, the learner the, or the employee to look around and recognize if there's any garbage or any recyclables in the scene. If there are, click and drop them into the bin. From there, we move on to the next screen. So uh, now resetting the room. Is there anything in the room that's out of place from the way it's kind of originally configured? Well, this chair is out of place. We're going to drop that back in. And it slides over again. Cleaning the whiteboards. Okay, I'm going to grab this eraser. I'm going to clean off this board here, and that automatically triggers it to slide to the next scene. So this could go on and on with various interactions. Uh, you can keep the information kind of minimal on the screen like this, or you can have a couple of screens before all this to help explain things in greater detail and then have these as little kind of knowledge checks throughout. So there's a lot of different ways you can do this, but I think the important thing is you don't have to use the next button to go from screen to screen to screen. If you like this video and you want to stay up to date on new videos I come out with, please hit subscribe. Check out elearninglocker.com if you want to download this file. Happy learning! If you want to keep hearing crickets, definitely subscribe to this channel. They stopped. Is that all I had to say? No, there they go.